Equatorial Guinea, a land of opportunity, where the vast majority of the 1.3 million population lives in poverty. While the small elite enjoys the spoils of immense oil wealth, their fearless leader, Teotoho Obiang Ngema Mbasoko, has held the reins of power for the past 45 years after asking his uncle, Francisco Masia Ngema, in a military coup. Ngema won all six presidential elections held in the country since 1982, proclaiming at least 93% of the vote each time. His secret? The systematic repression and harassment of political opposition and civil society organizations backed by his armed forces. He survived several assassination and coup attempts himself, with rights groups describing him as one of the continent's most brutal and corrupt dictators. His son, Vice President Theodorin Oriang Ngema, has it all. Luxury cars, houses abroad, and even a glove worth 275,000 US dollars. Born by pop idol Michael Jackson. However, he was exposed for embezzlement and racked up criminal convictions in France in 2021 that saw 150 million euros worth of assets being seized. He also had to walk away from assets worth 30 million US dollars in the United States and 13 million pounds in the United Kingdom. South Africa confiscated a yacht and two houses in early 2023. But for Theodorin, Equatorial Guinea remains the land of opportunity. He is in line to succeed his 80-year-old father with plenty oil reserves still untapped. Out of the 55 countries on the African continent, only 18 can be considered democratic. Despite holding elections every five years, Equatorial Guinea is categorized as an authoritarian regime. <laughs>